Mary, uh, you've been a, a councillor for 11 years and you're uh, regarded as one of the, uh, the, uh, the Liberal Democrats uh, gurus for uh, um, e-democracy and so on. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, how you see um, the programme of engaging citizens uh, at a local level in terms of petitioning and so on? Well, the e-democracy aspects are just an, an extra layer to add on to what's a fundamentally participatory system. And, and what we do in Kingston is ensure that citizens are involved at all stages of uh, putting problems to us and helping find the solutions to those problems. Lots of mechanisms, one of which is petitions, which is uh, very popular, both online and paper petitions. If somebody does a petition to Kingston Council, it guarantees it will go onto an agenda, will produce a report, they will then be called in to um, talk about it and to discuss it with councillors and maybe work out a mechanism for finding the solution to whatever the problem is that they raised. Can you give me a specific example of how this system has actually made a difference? Yes, it's very popular with young people and some local young people were very unhappy that a uh, an advisory service for young people appeared to be folding. They put the blame in the wrong place in their petition, actually. They thought it was because of withdrawal of funding. In fact, it was the other way around. Funding was being withdrawn because the organisation was collapsing. However, what they did was raise a lot of publicity around it and work with us to help actually reinvigorate this organisation, which is now back on its feet again and getting its funding. Great. And you've been doing work um, at a national level in terms of... Uh, dealing with the e-democracy initiative and so on. Can you tell us a bit about how that's developed? Well, first of all, I chaired the National Project for Local E-Democracy, which piloted 22 different tools for use in local government to get people involved more in local government and decision-making. Some of those worked, some of them didn't. Some of the most popular ones were e-petitions, but there were also consultation forums, issues forums, webcasting, games for young people, oh, a whole host of things. And when that came to an end, um, the Department for Communities and Local Government set up the International Centre of Excellence for Local E-Democracy, sorry about the long names, but uh, of which I'm now the, the Vice Chair, and that is helping to um, publicise a lot of these concepts, particularly in Europe, but also um, more widely as well, as well as carrying on uh, pushing them locally. I think this is a really important liberal domain. Liberal Democrat uh, program that we should be supporting. And where do you think it goes from here? Well, we carry on. What uh, four years ago I said what I want is e democracy to be an issue that people think about and even more so participation. We've done that. Behind the scenes, we've had an enormous impact, in fact, on um, government thinking. And for a Liberal Democrat to say that, it's something I'm quite proud of. Great. Thank you very much.